Hello everyone. This video we're going to talk about how fast our PoE switch needs to be to meet our IP cameras requirements. Well once we set up our IP camera system the surveillance camera will be working 24-7. That would be enormous data exchange. If our PoE's bandwidth is not large enough then we'll be experiencing the videos loading constantly. The bandwidth of PoE switches are normally 100 megabytes per second and 1000 megabytes per second. You can see the bandwidth as the road wide, how wide the road is on the Ethernet. The data from the IP cameras have to travel all the way back to the PoE switch and the road has to be wide enough. <laughs> Let's say a PoE camera right here, its data comes back at 10 megabytes per second. If we connect it to a normal PoE switch. PoE switches usually are the smallest ones are 100 megabytes per second. Then we connect them, you know, 10 is not that much big of a data and 100 megabytes per second bandwidth can easily receive it. <clears throat> well, what happens if we add multiple devices? Because, you know, in our IP camera system, we'll be constantly adding more and more cameras. Well, it's like simple math, simple addition. One camera, 10 megabytes per second. Two is 20. And after we've added several devices and they're all going through the same switch, maybe the data coming back is like over 100, maybe like 130 megabytes per second. Then the 100 megabytes per second PoE switch cannot pro let all the data go through that time. Then it will cause like traffic jam. You can think of the PoE switch as a toll gate. If there's too much traffic and not enough toll gates, the tra the, all the cars have to stop at there and let the front pass first, then the ones behind them can slowly go through. If we plan to collect uh, tons of devices to our PoE switch, we can choose a thousand megabytes per second PoE switch. That'll resolve all of, any of our problems. We also have to consider some buffer issues. Let's say this camera uh, video feed is 6 megabytes per second sending back. Then if there's multiple users linked to this camera and watching the video feed, it's not only sending 6 megabytes per second back, it's sending more than that. Uh, let's say 10 megabytes per second. It really depends on how many users are watching at that moment. Another issue we have to consider is Sometimes when the image starts moving very constantly or a sudden movement in the image, like right in front of the camera, then there's, there's going to be a spike on the megabytes per second sending back. It's kind of an easy principle because we, we all know how videos work. It's just like taking really quick pictures. Well, once the pictures are taken, if you say a silent object that's not moving, the pictures we're taking, they're all the same. So then the, the processing will be easy because, you know, everything's not moving at all. So all the data is going to be the same as the previous one. Then when there is movement, uh, then it's like taking pictures and, you know, the, this picture, the first picture is not the same as the next, then the next. So then the data, there's going to be need more effort processing. You can think of it as another way, you know, when you're signing papers. We're going to want to ask you signing in your mother language. Everything's easy. You don't have to change at all. That's going to be very fast to sign all the papers. But what if we ask you to sign in different languages for each paper? Then that's going to be more and more effort than, you know, signing papers in all the same language. Well, in conclusion, it's best for us to prepare a PoE switch that has a very big bandwidth if we have multiple devices we want to connect. Well, thank you for watching. That's pretty much it for today's video. You can leave your comments at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.